right, we are recording audio. <laughs> Record this dick. <laughs> God, I hate myself. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? Spe like, you. I'm looking at you. Yes, you bitch. How the fuck are you doing? Good? Great. I'm doing fucking great because you know what? We got Sonic Mania now. So we got a good Sonic game. Fucking finally. It took like 19,000 years, but we're finally here. We live in. We chillin'. We spillin'. I don't know. Um, so I've been wanting to just do as many videos on this game as I possibly could. Um, I was gonna do a playthrough, but <laughs> that didn't fucking happen, so I just kind of played the game on my own. As you can see here, this was my first save file. This was my original recording file. I, um, I beat it with Sonic and Tails. I got all seven Chaos Emeralds, and then I started a Knuckles playthrough. I got four Chaos Emeralds. I got to Oil Ocean Zone. Fuck that boss. Fuck Oil Ocean Zone. I don't care what anybody says. Oil Ocean Zone fucking sucks, and I hate it, and it was a bigger mistake than my birth. Alright guys, so I'm a dumb bitch, and I was accidentally playing my saved file, as you can see there, that I was just doing. And it totally slipped my mind that when you have all the Chaos Emeralds and you hit a Super Ring, it just gives you 50 rings. You can't actually go into the special stage. So I'm just making a quick save file here, um, just to actually do them so I can show you guys what to do. Alright guys. Hold on one second. I'm putting my retainers in, because... I had braces a long time ago, and now I have to wear this shit. So I'm sorry if I sound weird now. It's because I'm wearing this fucking shit, and I hate it, and I feel like I have a lisp. Um, <laughs> but whatevs. So I'm just gonna make my way over to that special ring real quick. And like I was saying before, I don't know if I'm gonna keep in my Green Hill Zone footage, or if I'm gonna just edit that shit out, so I'll just repeat myself. Um, special Stage 1 is not the best level to demonstrate this because you know it's the first one it's pretty fucking easy but my little tip applies to all of them and it makes it hell of a lot easier like in my tails playthrough i played the special stages eight times and that's because i failed it once um but other than that fuck i uh i did it perfectly fine so just making our way over there i believe it's right around here. there it is So, what to do? What I like to do is I'll build up my, um, boost meter, or not boost meter, what the fuck, my mock gauge thing. Collect a decent amount of rings as you're in Mach 1, because it's a hell of a lot easier to get your rings when you're not going fast as fuck. So now we're in Mach 2. Get some more rings. Try to get into Mach 3, because obviously you're going to be getting into Mach 3 in a huge majority of the special stages that you're playing. Uh... But, um, get your rings up as much as you can. Damn, you know what? We might actually get it before I can even show what I'm trying to do. Let's see here. I'll try to let it get ahead. Run in the grass a little bit. Come on, get ahead, get ahead, get ahead, get ahead. Because I'm really trying to, like, demonstrate this to you guys. Damn, that fucking thing just, like, won't go away. <laughs> like, I don't want it right now. Basically, just be building up your time, right? And your time is your rings. So, once you get into Mach 3... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Alright, it's pretty far ahead now. Now, once we, um... Let's just say we're in a farther special stage, right? Where it can actually get this far on its own. Once you're in Mach 3, you're gonna be making sharp-ass turns. If you jump, it makes the turns hell of a lot easier to make. So you don't fly off the course or something. You see, like, right here? You just turn directly into the direction you're trying to go. And then just run up and catch that motherfucker. Oh, and that's all it is. Now, again, I know this is the first special stage. So it's not necessarily a great example to use. But there is unfortunately no like option in the options menu or something to just select the special stage and play it. I kind of wish there was. Um, but there is not, so I can't go to, like, Special Stage 7. Or actually, 7 is not really a good example either, because if you've beaten them by now, you guys should know, Special Stage 7 is a fucking joke. Like, I've beat it my first try twice in a, like, in a row. 
I don't know why it's so fucking easy. Usually special stage 7 is like that special stage that's like a bitch. But in this game, it's so fucking easy. Um, the really hard ones that I find difficult are 4, 5, and not even really 6. 6 isn't that bad. 4 and 5 though, especially 4. 4 is a fucking nightmare. 4 took me a very long time. Um, 5, not so much, but I'll try to find another special ring for you guys so I can at least show you special stage 2. Here we go. Alright guys, so special stage 2. Not really much of a, um, of a jump in terms of difficulty from special stage 1, but it's at least something to kind of further my point. So again, what I like to do, build up my rings, and if you can, at the same time, build up your blue spheres, obviously go ahead and do it, because both are super important, but I feel like rings are the most important thing, because they act as your time. So, just kind of try to get as many of each as you can, build it up, so now we're at 57, that looks about good, now you can start hunting it down. So, what people need to remember is that... The UFO is in a single path. It d it never changes direction. So like at, like you can see how we're going around a loop here. It's not like a constantly generated road. So this UFO, once you know its movements, it will go into the same place. Like it's always going to make that sharp turn right there. So that's one thing to remember as well. But um, my point still f like is valid in the sense of jumping once you reach Mach three. If we go into it, I'll show you. It still helps you make those sharp turns, and we're gonna nab it, because these special stages are really not that hard. Alright, well... <laughs> I'll try special stage 3. I'll do one more. Yas. Okay. Special stage 3, guys. This one... I, I don't really remember if it's difficult or not. Again, like I mentioned before in this video, I can do all of them, like, pretty much my first try. At least I did in Tails' campaign, so they're not really that much of a challenge for me, especially because I've gotten used to the way I control and everything, but I'm trying to prove a point and help you guys out who may be, you know, possibly struggling with it, or for those of you who may, who may not have the game yet, and you've seen, like, a lot of playthroughs, and you've seen how people were saying that they were kind of difficult, whatever the situation may be, I'm just trying to help you out, so whatever, like, I'm trying to be a nice person, what the fuck? Uh, so what I'll do here, my rings are up, so now we can hit that Mach 3, nice. And now we can start hunting that bitch down. So now you can start taking alternate routes, get even more fucking rings. And I'm not too sure what getting the blue spheres, once you've already gotten to Mach 3, really, do <laughs> really does. Um, but it says like bonus when you fill it up, so I think that just kind of increases your score. But, um... Like I said, if you jump, it helps making these turns a lot easier, especially in Mach 3, because look, if you do this, you hear him, like, skirt skirting, it's because he's making these turns sharp as fuck. Damn, 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 yo, what the fuck, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. That's all right, we still chilling. Here we go. I'm gonna chase this mother down, take it this way, I think it's actually a little quicker. And it's ours. Give me that shit, what the fuck, you don't deserve that. So that's special stage three. You know what? Okay, I'm feeling a little crazy. I'll do another one. I'll, I'll, I'll find the special ring in um, Act Two of Chemical Plant. I know where it is, and I'll, and I'll do it for you guys. All right? What the fuck? All right, that's fucking cool. Oh fuck you! Fuck! Oh, come on, fuck you! I'm just sitting here editing, laughing at how many times I say fuck. Like, literally somebody count how many times I say fuck in this video and, like, tell me in the comments. <laughs> Alright, so, right up here is the special ring. I'm sure there's more in Act 2 that I'm just not really aware of, but... This is the special stage that gave me the most trouble, hands down. So, this is kind of like the... What's it called? What am I trying to say? the true example of my little method here that I'm trying to show you guys. And, I, and if you already kind of figured this out for yourself, then I'm sorry, um, but I just wanted to make a video on it to show people who may not have the game, uh, who just 
aren't good at the special stages. I don't know. Um, but this is the one that gave me the most trouble, and I saw a lot of people on Twitter had trouble with this one, so it's not just me. It is a truly just pain in the ass, I guess, but it's not really a problem anymore for me. So, once you get your rings up, you can kind of focus on trying to get uh, the blue spheres. Grab that one. Get your speed up. We're almost at Mach 3. There we go. Grab that. Now we can start hunting this bitch down. So when you're in Mach 3, you know, jump makes those sharp turns hell of a lot easier. And they're not even really sharp. You can also jump over, like, little edges like that. Helps a lot. Especially because that fucking UFO, that little bitch, he likes to go over edges too. So it kind of makes it a little uh, difficult. Didn't mean to do that. But as you can see, we're fucking catching up. If I, like, saw myself playing this in the past, back when this was a challenge, I would have shit myself, because I can't even tell you how many times it took me to get that fucking Chaos Emerald, and you just saw me do it flawlessly. So there you go. Four Chaos Emeralds, no fucking problem. I was just gonna do one in this video, but I wanted to further prove my point to you guys. They're not bad. Hopefully this video helped you guys out in some way. For those of you who may be struggling to get the Chaos Emeralds for the true final boss, or, you know, whatever the case may be, hopefully it helped you out. Thank you for watching. If it did help, leave a like. If you have any suggestions of any other Sonic Mania videos that you guys might want to see, leave a comment, let me know, because I know a lot of people have been asking for content because I've been dead for soups long, and I apologize for that, but now that Mania's out, I want to try to pump out a fuckload of videos on it because it's such a great game. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Maybe I'll do them. Who the hell knows? Um, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.